Intro to burp. Try here to find the flag. Start my instance. Try using burp suite to intercept requests to capture the flag. Try mangling the request. Maybe their server side code doesn't handle malform requests very well. All right, well, burp suite, you can download from portswigger.net. Uh, I have their free community edition actually already installed on my computer. So I'll go ahead and fire that up. And I'll just use a temporary project here. And I'm going to use the proxy tool. And the proxy tool is going to allow me to intercept traffic going back and forth. I'm going to open their browser. So when I open their browser, I don't have to bother configuring mine to use the proxy. So I'll just copy um, this URL. I won't do it in my Firefox. I'll do it in Burp Suite's Chrome. And I need to turn intercept on. So there's some sort of registration page. We'll just type some stuff at it. All right, so there's a cross-site request forgery token. And there's the date I'm sending across. All right, there's get for the dashboard. Um, oh, cute. Uh, it's, Chrome is checking to see if my password has been leaked. All right now it wants a two-factor authentication. So it's going to send this request. OTP is 999. Invalid OTP. All right, well, what they told me was to try to um, so try to mangle it. So I'll go ahead and register again. This time, it asked me for the OTP. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna mangle it. I'll just call it like OTGP. All right, welcome. You successfully bypassed the OPT request. Your flag, PQCTF OTP bypass success. So basically the big moral of the story here is with Burp Suite, I can change the traffic between my browser and the website that I am talking to.